I'm James Brown, and I'm a little skeptical. In late 2019, Netflix released its most popular new titles list, voting stars like Kevin Hart, Dave Chappelle, Robert De Niro, Adam Sandler, and Eddie Murphy. But after scanning the list, the truth about any piece of information generated by Netflix screamed at me. There's no reason to believe it's true. The streaming giant released the list itself, highlighting its most expensive series like The Witcher, its answer to Game of Thrones, and Martin Scorsese's Oscar-likely crime epic The Irishman. Despite Nielsen, who counts radio and TV audiences' efforts, no one knows for sure where this data is from and whether or how it's skewed. And that leads to sentences like this from Deadline.com. The rankings are believed to be based on the number of accounts that have watched at least two minutes of a movie, TV series, or special, both original or acquired, during the first 29 days on Netflix in 2019. For series that air multiple seasons in one calendar year, only the most popular season is counted. With the internet ablaze based on these lists and that word salad as the explanation, I'm left with my eyebrow raised until an independent company like Nielsen looks under Netflix's hood to see the actual stats. On that note, I'm James Brown, and I good you big night. Thank you for listening to A Little Skeptical. You can leave me a voicemail or send me a message at alittleskeptical.com. You can also find back episodes there and more about me. You can find me on social media at James Brown TV everywhere. You can also find the show at A Skeptical Show everywhere.